So you got a young lady that's, you know, going to tell the story. And I've heard these stories before out of Korea and, t- and she says South Korea. She's not North Korea. When they say Korea, they mean South Korea. And she, she got an issue cause she technically she's, uh, she's, so she's going to say in law. So I guess she's married to a Korean man, South Korean man. But I want you to hear exactly what she went through, not being able to get into a particular club. I make videos complaining about racism in Korea. I get a lot of questions on Instagram, so let's make a video here. I told you guys my in-laws are crazy. They, they complain so much. I was just like, whatever. It's most definitely gonna leave me alone from now on. I'll just add this in because people don't know, but the reason these things can happen here so often in Korea, and they do, is because Korean law supports discrimination. And the majority of people will not get People who are saying that they're worried about coming to Korea, I think environment is so important. Like the people you surround yourself with, work environment, living environment. House hunting with my mother-in-law has been eye-opening for her. I don't know why she's shocked, but because we're together and she's so supportive, honestly like whatever right now. And another story to my better story time, when I was running events, one of my issues and concerns was that we would go to round two. And this is around the time when I started running the event with my friend Minji. I was worried about second round because what if we go to a bar or club that doesn't allow black people or certain passports where darker people come from. Usually African passports or Moroccan passports. Like sometimes they even have a sign on the freaking door or no, they'll just tell us. I don't want that to happen during an event I'm hosting. So we usually made deals with the same places so that the owners know us and they wouldn't do any bullshit. There's a bar here in Hongdae, and two years ago when they first opened, they heard about our group and hit us up because they want to be known for being an international club or whatever. And they are known for that right now, but they were doing that shit Korea does when they say they want to be international and they actually just mean white people. They want white people. Responded to them on our business and made arrangements with them, agreeing that we'd bring our group there after and try out their place, get a free round of shots for everybody. Cool. I was like, okay, they came to us. They should be a fine place, you know? So they assumed that Minji was the owner because she's Korean and I was like a worker or something. We have a group of 35, 40 people. We get to the door. They completely ignore me. The rest of the group is waiting behind us and they hand Minji the tickets and bracelets for our group. They want us to check our own people in. So Minji and I are standing at the door on opposite sides because we're going to give our people the bracelets. Security puts a big ass hand in my face and they're like, no, get out, get out. Like what? I started to say something and they physically push me. Like I feel like they just don't see black women as women sometimes because they physically freaking push me for no reason. You invited us here. They said black, no, black, no. So for whatever reason, a lot of Koreans do not believe me when I tell them that this kind of shit happens in Korea until they see it. But even Minji, my closest friend, she was so shocked. Everybody was shocked. Now mind you, this place was empty before we came. This was this is a popular place now. But at the time, nobody knew this place and they really wanted us to come fill the plate. My people went off on them, off on security, off on the owner. They're still not understanding and thinking I'm an employee. And they're like, no, 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 it's okay. The rest of you guys can come. Just her, no, black, no. So I was like, oh yeah, then we're freaking leaving. My group. And she was like, yeah, you don't let black people in. We're not fucking, let's go. This is not the first time I've heard this about South Korea. See, y'all have to understand a lot of these other countries are homogenous. We didn't grow up in a homogenous society. We grew up in a melting pot. Now I understand we may live in our neighborhoods. We're a little bit homogenous, but our country in America is not a homogenous society. It's b- built of all these different groups of people, different languages, religions, etc. right? We go to these places that are homogenous that don't really have a lot of interaction with us as black people. They're only, Education about us comes through Hollywood, comes through sports, comes through the music industry. And usually we all know that America does not put the best black American people on the screen. They don't, they don't put our doctors and our astrophysicists, our entrepreneurs, our, you know, uh, small business owners, you know, people like that. They want to put on the, the sexy reds and the Sukiyanas and people like that to show a representation of black Americans. Right? So people already come with an ignorant approach about black Americans. Then you do have a lot of anti-black racism in other countries. And as she said, there's no discrimination laws, so they can discriminate all they want. Why they live in a homogenous society. Who are they going to discriminate against? Unless they just don't like each other, but you can't say it's Asian on Asian racism. You can't say that. Now, I guess if a Japanese person show up, a Chinese person show up, then they doing it based on what well, he Chinese or they Japanese. And I don't like them. It's not an Asian thing. You have to understand when you come going to these other countries, 
they do have a certain mindset about us as black people. And I will say this, they think higher of black Americans than Africans. I will say that they will treat Africans sometimes a little bit worse than they would a black American. Um, to me, it's the same to me. If you treat an African bad in front of me, but then treat me better, I'm gonna have a problem with that because I'm like, you're not gonna treat my brother or sister like that just because they from Nigeria or they from uh, Senegal or wherever they from. Right. I'm not, that, that's not cool to me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but she's over there and she's still over there with those people. So my thing is, if you're still over there, you must like it. Like, I'm not going to stay somewhere where people are discriminating against me and tell you, you black? No, you can't come in here. But let me tell you how, how bad it is. There was this one brother that, that, that talked about South Korea, and he has said that he will go and buy a club, and they playing our music, the black American creation of hip-hop. We created that, right? They're playing Tupac. They're playing Jada Kiss. They're playing, you know, all kind of artists like that. He was going to go in and say, oh, it's hip hop club. Shoot, let me go on in. They say, oh, no, you black. You can't come in. So check this out. They listening to our music, enjoying our music, but don't want the people of the culture to go into the club. All these people emulate our culture, but they don't like us. It is the weirdest thing ever because all these other people got their own cultures. They don't have to emulate us. But they, 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 they just got to emulate us. They can't just stick to their own culture, their own heritage, their own music, their own everything, right? They just got to do it. Then you call them out on that. Oh, we, we just enjoy it. This and that. No, no, no. You don't like the people. You, you like our culture. You don't like the people. That's weird to me. Like, if I don't like you, I don't like nothing related to you either. That's, that's, that's so stupid to me. So, once again, this is why I'm a big proponent of African countries. Is because if I go to any event hall or lounge or wherever I'm going to go, at least I don't have to worry about not being let in because I'm black. I don't have that problem. Like, look, I tell people this. If you want to deal with discrimination, stay in America. Like, seriously. At least in America, you got some rights. You could sue. Like, in America, they told you, you can't come in here because you're black. Oh, discrimination lawsuit. You about to get paid. You're going to leave America where you're going to, you got at least some rights and then you're going to go over there and then they can treat you like, like freaking like the Jim Crow South. I don't get it. And then you guys, some of y'all, some of y'all get in other cultures and listen, if you want to be with other cultures, I'm not, I'm not in that, that, that conversation. At least if that person understand that you are a black person and you can't be in that culture due to the racism, then that person, they love you. Right her husband should move to a place where his wife is accepted. You understand? And if your wife isn't accepted, then to me, it sounds like you don't love her. That's how I look at it. You want to post to protect your wife, right? You, your wife should be in no position where she's constantly being discriminated against. And you can, you can move to wherever, right? To make sure that she's not discriminated against. I don't know. I'm just saying, but to each his own with that, I just don't, I wouldn't deal with it, but let me know what y'all think about that. You know, like people going to South Korea and, and, and understand you heard what she said about when they say international, they mean white. That's why I tell people we can't look at travel the same, like a, like a blanketed thing because traveling while black is very, very different than a person who's white traveling. I'm not, I will never discourage travel. I believe we should travel and see the world, but we also got to be wise at the same time in our movements.